hello guys welcome back to my channel i hope you're all having a wonderful um week weekend yeah hope you're all having a great day welcome back to my channel my name is sophia if you are new here you're highly highly welcome 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 i appreciate you stopping by coming to my channel subscribing watching my content i appreciate it thank you very much guys if this is your first time in my channel you're highly welcome um, when you finish watching this video, if you enjoy it, please, please don't forget to subscribe. Give it a big thumb up, comment and share this video, guys. As you can see in the background already, I'm going to be telling you guys what we are making today. Today is a cook with me video. Okay, guys, so let's get into the video. <laughs> Okay, guys, so today we are going to be making corn dog. I don't know if you've heard of corn dog, but we're going to be making corn dog today. So let me introduce you guys to the ingredients we are going to be using. So definitely to make a corn dog, you need hot dog. So I got hot dog here, um, 12 hot dog in here. I got corn flour, um, one cup. I'll show you a cup. Yeah, that's a cup, just in case you don't know what a cup is. That's a cup. As you can see, one cup. So you need one cup of corn flour, one cup of plain flour, which is also all-purpose flour, one egg. You need a cup of milk, which is this cup here of milk. So you need a cup of milk. You also need three tablespoons of sugar. The tablespoon is the spoon you use to eat rice, if you use spoon to eat rice. And here we have teaspoon. So here we have... A teaspoon of baking powder and a teaspoon of um, salt okay guys I got my bowl here already and in here I got 11 um how will I call it stick okay I soak them in water for about 20 minutes so what I've done with the sticks I've cut off the pointy part because I don't want anybody to injure themselves so I've cut off a bit of the pointy part so you won't see the pointy part of the noise in the background my washing machine okay guys so i've soaked them in water so what i do is i just take the scissors and cut off the tip the sharp tip so i cut about this amount out of it and then i soak it in water okay guys so these are all the ingredients and everything we'll be needing for the to make the butter and also you need your oil on a high heat, on a, your, your oil has to be very hot to fry the corn dog. Okay, guys, so this is everything that we'll be needing. Let's get cooking. Okay, guys, so first thing we are going to do is to cut the sausage a bit because it's quite long. So we are going to be cutting. If you take your stick and measure how long the sausage is with the stick. So you can see the sausage is up to there of the steak okay but we are going to cut a bit of the sausage so let's say you need approximately three fingers to let out because we are going to be putting in the sausage but we need to cut it to be short so we are going to cut the sausage let's say we are going to cut it by half of my finger so somewhere around here of your finger that's like one inches. So I'm going to be cutting just a bit out of it. So let's say you're going to cut about one inch off or a little more than one inch off. Of course you can use the whole sausage like this if you want, but I think if you cut it a bit shorter, it's better. So you're going to be cutting the 12th sausage, wait, it's hot dog, hot dog. So I'm just eyeballing it so I know exactly what I'm cutting off. We are going to do that for all the 12th hot dog. Sorry for the background noise. And then you put them back in the bowl. I think I've cut all of them. Oh, there's still one more, which I need to 
Вот. Still another one. <laughs> this one. Okay, guys. So I've cut the twelve hot dog. I'm going to put these ones back in there as well. But I'm not going to be using those ones. Okay, guys. And then I'll come back and show you what's next. Okay, guys. So the next thing we are going to do, we are going to take the hot dog and we are going to pat them dry. So you can just lay them on your tissue paper like this if you want or you could do them one at a time it's up to you so you just pull them oh can you believe i didn't cut all of them i didn't cut this one <laughs> so i'm going to have to cut that one but anyway let's pack this one dry first so i'm going to get another tissue so you just want to pat them dry okay Yeah, so pat them dry. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy watching it. Comment, share it so that someone else can learn how to make corn dog. And subscribe to my channel for more videos. If you enjoy watching. Thank you. So we're going to pat them dry. And then the ones that we've packed dry, we're just going to put them in a clean dry plate. So just pat them dry properly. Okay guys. So I'm going to do all of them like this. And then I'll come back and show you guys what's next. Okay guys, so I've also cut the stick a bit short so you can see. I've cut it short, I left it here so I can show you guys. So I cut the stick a bit short, so I'll just show you how long I cut it short. So that's practically my, well, more than half of my finger, isn't it, I suppose? Yeah, so of this, my finger. Oh, it has dropped. Okay, that's another one. So I've cut it short. I swear, because we are going to be setting it to the middle of the hot dog. Okay, guys, so I just thought I would show you guys that I cut the stick short, I swear. Okay, guys, so what we are going to do now, I'm going to take one stick take one stick and you're going to insert it into the hot dog so insert it into the middle I've made just to show you I just wanted to show you I made a little hole in the middle there so you're going to insert it just halfway just halfway as you're inserting it make sure you hold on to it firmly you want to try not to do it to you don't want the stick to pop out anywhere so you just do it halfway when you feel like as if it's already halfway you can use three of your finger to mark just to be targeting where you want the stick to to reach okay so i'm going to shake yeah so three of my fingers spread out a bit like that i think that's okay so i'll take another one and do the same thing So take another stick, get the middle of the hot dog and just hold it firmly, gently push it in, gently, gently push it in and then you can check. So I just need a little bit more to go into the sausage, hot dog sausage. Okay, let's check now. Just a tiny little bit more okay i think that's okay so yeah so we'll do it more again just show you this one again so that you will see how i do it so you poke it in be gently because you don't want the stick to come out from any corner of the sausage and you keep shaking if you've gone far enough shake with your fingers so three of your fingers hope you guys can see what i'm doing yeah don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy watching it okay guys so i'm going to continue the remaining of the sausage and then we start the butter okay guys so now i've put the steak into all the 12 hot dog hope you guys can see it don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy watching this far 
so i've put it so now we're going to make the butter okay guys okay guys so to mix the butter you need a wix okay so we're going to start by adding our plain flour which is all purpose flour and then we're going to be adding our corn flour don't forget these are one cup each one cup so we're going to be adding all the dry ingredients first so our three tablespoon where three um the spoon you used to eat rice three tablespoon of sugar and this is one teaspoon of um baking powder and one teaspoon of salt okay guys so i'm just going to take my wooden spatula and just mix all the dry ingredients together just to make sure that they are all mixed properly And then we are going to set it aside set it aside i'm going to be using one of this bowl so what we are going to do first is we are going to take the milk and pour some of it in here just leave a bit there because one thing you don't want you don't want the butter to be too runny so you take one egg and break it in there and then you are going to whisk the egg and the milk together. Make sure you watch this video to the end so you will see what is next. If not, you won't get the whole thing if you zoom, if you fast forward, no zoom, if you fast forward the video. Okay, so now we are going to bring our mixed dry ingredient back together, back here. Okay. So now we're going to pour this in there. I'm going to be using my whisk. So you just pour it in and mix. Just gently pour it in, mix. Okay. Sorry, guys. Okay, so let's mix it. Oh, the flour is going everywhere. So because we don't want the mixture to be too thin, we're still going to be adding the milk. But let's just mix this together first. I know flour everywhere. I just mix this in first. Okay, I think I'm going to be changing my whisk, but before I change it, now you can add the remaining milk little by little and stir it. I'm going to be changing this. I'm going to be using this one for now. I was trying to look for my other um, whisk, but I can't find it here. So let me use this wooden. The wooden spatula okay. oh sorry guys so something is in there just take it out so we're going to hide the remaining milk as well remember we don't want it to be too running so that's why i'm hiding the milk bit by bit So you just keep stirring it at the smooth yeah I think this consistency looks right it's not too running so I haven't used I haven't used all the one cup of milk. I still got a little bit there. So I still got a little bit left in there. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Share this video. I'm sure it will be helpful to someone. Okay, guys. I'm just going to stir it a bit properly till it's smooth. And then I'll come back. Okay, guys. So I've stirred it. 
I've stirred it to the way I, I want. So now, don't remember, I still got a bit of the milk there, so I didn't use the whole milk. So now you need another big glass, drinking glass, water, hot water. So you need a glass like this because it makes it easy for you to dip the sausage into it. So it makes it easy for you to dip in the sausage. I'm going to be showing you guys. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour this into the glass, okay? Ah, sorry guys, I thought I was showing you very well. So I'm going to pour it into the glass. Okay guys, so I'm going to scoop the other remaining ones into the glass. Let me leave it there for now. Okay guys. I hope you guys can see what I'm doing. So yeah, you can see that I've poured it into a glass. It's much easier for you to dip the sausage into there. So I'm going to be showing you guys what's next. Okay guys, so now we are going to start frying. So you can see I've already poured the mixture into a glass. And then you're going to take one of your hot dog, dip it in. Gently dip it in. Dip it in again, bring it out. I thought I mixed this thing really smooth, but anyway, it doesn't matter. So I just let it run a bit. You can continue to dip it in if you want. Just let it run out a bit. Let's dip it one more time. Okay. I'm just going to let it like just to stop it from running a bit that's why you mustn't make your butter too running okay and then you fry it so you're going to put in the oil to fry so you're going to continue doing that for all the hot dog I know it got like a little horn there, but that's because the tip. So make sure that your oil is hot enough. Just make sure your oil is hot. And try as possible to make sure that your butter is not, your mixture is not too running. I think mine is slightly slightly a bit running so I'm going to fry that in there then you dip the next one in so you just continue to do this for all these 12 I'm using 12 hot dog so you guys can see what I'm doing, so I just dip it in, okay? So I'm going to be doing that for all the 12 hot dog. Okay, just let it run a bit. Okay. And then you're just going to turn it to make sure that it fries properly. So make sure your oil is on, it's hot, your oil is hot. When your oil is hot, it fries a bit quicker. Because I've cooled my oil a bit, so that's why it's, um, I didn't cover one of them properly. But this is all you need to do for all the, for all the 12 hot dog. So you just wait for them to fry until it's golden brown okay i'll show you how it looks like when it's good in brown i want to time how many minutes it takes to fry them okay so i'll tell you guys at the end how many minutes it takes to get it good in brown this one is almost ready okay so the secret is to make sure that your butter is not too runny I think mine is just 
tiny little bit runny, but it's fine. So I leave it until it's golden brown or it's golden, whichever. Okay. I have to turn it so that it can fry properly. Because it's not going to turn itself, so you have to turn it and make sure that the part that hasn't cooked cooked properly. Okay, guys, so I'm going to leave them because they've been frying now for about three minutes because I'm checking the time. Yeah, they've been frying for about three minutes. So I'm trying to get the right time. I think this one is nearly ready. The first one I put inside. I think it's nearly ready. Okay, guys, so this one has been frying. I think this one is ready. This one has fried for almost almost like five minutes. But I think it looks ready. Can you guys see that? Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you're enjoying it. So I got like a I got like a little sieve with a tissue paper in there. So I'm going to be frying this other two. I think they are even ready because it's almost five minutes I put them now. So Yeah, I think I'm going to be taking them out. They look good, aren't they? Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Yeah, comment, subscribe if you haven't done so already. Turn on the notification bell for more videos. Okay, guys, so let's do another one. So you dip it in. Okay. Dip it in properly. Ooh. Dip it in. So you dip it in, you can see. So pouring the mixture into a glass cup, it makes it really easy for you to just dip the sausage in. Okay. Although the sausage is kind of heavy than the stick. Okay, guys, so I've put these ones. Still waiting for them to, to get ready. So I think it takes approximately five minutes. I think approximately because I've been timing it. So I think it takes like five minutes to fry them until they are golden brown. I just want to remove the thing there. Oh, just so I forgot. This is my first time of actually doing this. Okay, guys, I've not done this before, so this is my first time of doing this. Just so you know. So if you watch to this part of the video, then you will know this is my first time of doing it. Of making a corn dog. And it's looking really yummy. It's looking yummy, 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 yummy. So they take approximately five minutes to fry. To get it um, golden brown. Yeah, five minutes actually. Let's say five minutes. So I'm just waiting for these ones to be ready. And then I'm going to fry the remaining one. So you can see that it's almost golden brown inside the oil. So just make sure that your oil is very hot. 
so they can fry a bit quicker don't forget to give this video a thumbs up share it subscribe comment turn on the notification bell for more to get notified when i post new videos okay guys I think this too is ready. So these are the ones that fried already. They're looking yummy. Yeah, these are ready. So I'm going to take them out. You can see how golden brown, golden color they are. Okay, so dip it in. Okay. Just showing you one more last time if I fry the rest. Okay, guys, dip it in and let it run a bit and then put it. Okay, guys, so I'm going to fry the rest of them. When I'm done, I'll show you guys how it's looking like. Okay, guys? Okay, guys, so I finished frying my corn dog. So this is it. And I have, you can have it with any sauce. So I got sweet chili sauce and ketchup. Yeah, so this is it here. Okay, so a tip, a tip. Um, to fry 12 corn dog, you need a bit more of the mixture in order for it to coat properly okay this is my first time of frying this so yeah so i just learned that you need to do a bit more butter you need a bit more um, of the mixture so that you can be able to fry all your 12 um hot dog okay guys so this is the end result i just put four here and some sauce here sweet chili and ketchup as you can see and you can use mustard and ketchup if you want or use your favorite sauce to eat it or you can eat it on its own remember it's a hot dog inside okay guys so this is the end of the video please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy watching and share this video so that someone else can also learn how to make corn dog okay guys yeah so this is it looks really yummy yeah i'm going to be trying some later okay guys yeah so the tip don't forget the tip to make 12 hot dog corn dog well let's say corn dog hot dog to make 12 of it, you need more butter. So you should make the butter a bit more. Maybe you make like um, um, one and a half cup of um, um, plain flour, which is all purpose flour, and then one and a half cup of um, corn flour. Yeah. And then your milk, one cup, um, maybe one cup and a little bit. And of course your baking powder, I think one teaspoon is still okay. And one teaspoon of salt is still okay. And I think three teaspoon, three spoon of sugar, which is um this this, this spoon you use to eat rice. So I don't know. Um spoon, tablespoon, that's the word I'm looking for of sugar. Okay, guys, so I'll leave it, I'll write it on the screen so you know that you need a bit more butter to make 12 of the corn dog. Alright, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos and um, turn on the notification bell so you will be the first to get notified when i post a video i'll catch you guys in my next video love you all bye